What is up guys, Meg Gabby back with another video and today we are going to be doing a different sort of video. I've been wanting to add more banished dioramas ever since the announcement of Halo Infinite because I've been pretty excited for it. So this is that and I wanted to also throw in some of the lore from my series into it so there's going to be a little bit of that but nothing too deep, just some small stuff. Anyway, what has happened here is the banished have attacked a human city and now the local police force is trying to stop them and the UNSC has come to evacuate civilians. I don't have civilians so I'm going to be using the um, infinite marines without a lot of their armor pieces. Anyway, so right here we're going to have, this is the local police station. It is not a Yoni base anymore. For, take that out of your memories. But yeah, this is a police station and they are evacuating people out of the top. It has been completely overrun by a banished strike team right here as you can see that elite does not have a head we'll get into that later but yeah this um hornet has taken down this one brute then this other one is shooting at it and then there are two troopers who evacuated and there's one guy who's trying to climb onto it right here is another trooper that is trying to hold down the fort but it's not really working and so then there is this guy right here who is being taken down by a brute. There's also a banished banshee flying in and uh, it's trying to take out the hornet before it can even take off. All right, now we're gonna go over here. Kind of, gotta use the light. There we have the banished sort of um, defense point and there is a troop carrier coming out and it's carrying troopers. There's two NMPD troopers holding the line right here. One of them gets taken out by a mech and then the other two are fighting against these guys in the troop transport vehicle. And right there he has a turret. But they really don't have a chance against that many banished troopers. Then there is this elite running. And there's a bunch of troopers running down the line. And then there are some marines with sandbags. And they are trying to hold this small area. But there's two ghosts running this way. So they're probably not going to do it. Alright. Right here is... Oh, we'll go out a little bit to the whole scene. Right here is the Banish taking over a UNSC sort of government building. And this Goliath has climbed up and it's going to smash this one Marine. And this Grunt is helping and also this Elite is looking up at the Goliath because he was going to try to do it all by himself. Then this Marine decided to shoot a rocket up at it so that might actually help them stall, at least stall it. There's an Elite Zealot jumping down. They already took this point right here and this Brute took down that elite that marine right there he fell and then there is this elite right here who is securing a marine and this one who's finishing one off right there all right these elites are trying this elite and this jackal were trying to enter the door but then this cruiser came by and took out or the troop transport warthog came by and took one of them out but the elite is still fighting then there is this hunter that is bracing for impact right there. It's going to try and hold off the getting hit by the Warthog, but probably won't be able to. There's another Elite shooting up, and then there is this um, Prowler that's riding down the road and with a Hunter behind it. Alright, right here is a Brute trying to fight off an NMPD Trooper, and it's jumping over a car to get to him. Right here... We have a bunch of NMPD troopers trying to hold the line against some cub or some sorry banished, and this NMPD trooper was trying to make it back, but he got thrown to the side by Hunter. This grunt is trying to throw a grenade. There are two ghosts coming into the battle soon, and then this elite and this brute captain are shooting into this area, and that trooper is carrying a rocket launcher to try and fight them off. All right, this is the main point of the diorama right here. There's some other small stuff after this, but this is kind of the, the biggest part of it. Oh, sorry, that hunter is shooting at that troop transport hog, and then these two NMPD troopers are shooting back at the prowler. So they are using these two shield barriers to protect civilians, uh, the civilians I already mentioned, and there's this um, sort of bug mech. I don't really know exactly what it's called. I know it's in Halo Wars 2, but I don't remember. And so it is trying to hunt them down. And these guys were swarming in right here. There were grunts. There was um, elites. There were jackals. 
and this NMPD trooper drove his vehicle into the group and he's actually trying to drive it into the mech to try and destroy it and so that way that'll give the evacuating party a little bit more time that trooper has a shield these two guys the marines have machine gun turrets and then this one has a rocket launcher troopers are hiding in there as you can see it's pretty deep in there they have a few more and more trying to fill it up as much as they can and then these guys are kind of supervising and preparing for if they actually have to do anything all right and then here is an oni officer trying to fight off a brute and the mega gabby spartan is going to drop a grenade onto the brute chieftain because he tried to sneak up on the party and tried to pretty much destroy it all himself here is another spartan who is on the origins team and he actually sniped this this elite and this is the elite captain leading this attack the reason that they are actually sent on this mission they wouldn't normally be sent on a civilian escape mission but they were so they could take out that elite so that's kind of they're doing other things but that's their main reason for being there these guys up here were the ones who called in to the unsc to tell them you know something was happening and so they're doing like scans and stuff of that area and then there is a banished banshee flying over this um spartan is flying up trying to take it down with a plasma pistol because you know that would make it drop out of the sky and he took the brute the jetpack from this brute then there is the flame um spartan shooting up at the fl um flying brute the jump pack brute and yeah i think that's it i'm just going to kind of move around the scene a little bit more sometimes i feel like it helps everyone kind of get a, some different perspectives so i'm going to be doing that right now and um yeah, can we can we go through that? And something that I've been doing more recently is if you were one of the humans in this diorama, which one would you be and what would you do in the situation? I think it's kind of a cool concept to play with because I like to figure out, you know, what would you guys be thinking in the situation? Because that's kind of the mind space that I put myself in when I make certain dioramas. So I thought it would just be interesting to hear what you guys think. And just a few more angles and we'll be wrapping it up. Alright guys, and that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.